A local radio station is looking to help our community cope with the aftermath of Hurricane Ida through the power of music. WWOZ worked to get back on the air after the storm to allow people to escape feelings of stress and despair. The station is looking to connect people, but also serve as a distraction from the storm. As we look to recover from Hurricane Ida and the devastation across southeast Louisiana, WWOZ is aiming to be more than just a radio station. When anything happens, whether it's a hurricane or a coronavirus, we always think that people need to have like an escape. And that escape, according to General Manager Beth Arroyo Utterback, comes in the form of New Orleans music. Now there ain't no use to you running. And its healing quality at a time when we all need it. You know, I, I think that there's something really to be said about music therapy because, uh, you know, I've had some people during this say the first thing I do is turn on WWOZ and I just start like smiling and dancing before I, you know, get ready for my day, whatever that is, whether it's meeting an insurance adjuster or waiting on the line for FEMA. My name is Al Colon, sharing with you the sounds of classic modern jazz. The listener supported, volunteer programmed radio station is known locally and all over the world. But during the storm, the music stopped, although just briefly. Our, um, our transmitter on Canal Street was down, but we have two remote broadcast packs that we take out of town. So within two hours, we were able to be up and streaming on WWOZ with our pre-recorded programs. And it was, a, it was a touchstone for people because you had to be informed and listen to what was going on and hear all the reports. But you also needed to have like a moment to get away from that or a couple of hours to get away from that. Music helps me do this an awful lot. There. While the station was streaming online quickly, the transmitter to get OZ on the radio was damaged. But they were able to use a backup on the West Bank, and shortly after they brought back live on-air DJs while also keeping the music going. As soon as we could let our hosts come back in live, we did that so they could start telling their stories of exactly if they evacuated or what happened at their house or what happened in their neighborhood. And I think people felt very connected. The stories connecting us, but also the music, drowning out the stress of the storm and serving as a reminder of why this place is so special. I think it's good for your soul, and I think um, music from New Orleans specifically resonates with, with so many people around the world for so many different reasons because it tells unique stories. <laughs> It's the music, it's the culture, it's the food, and that we'll be okay. Like, we've gotten through things before, we're going to get through this just like we'll get through coronavirus. We'll be able to have festivals again, and that's what WWOZ is here to remind people about. This, of course, isn't the first time WWOZ has united us. They got national attention for Jazz Festing in Place, the virtual series held amid the pandemic. It will return again this fall, and we will be right back with more in a minute.